me. So obviously I just want to start by saying thank you to everybody for coming here today. Um, obviously in an era with a huge, grace, a huge growth in veganism, it's the job of each and every one of us to ensure that animals in labs are not forgotten because they're just important as animals on farms and in other animal exploitation industries. <coughs> you know that my organisation Animal Justice Project focuses mainly on animals in universities under our Campus Without Cruelty campaign, such as the Shadowy Laboratories here at Oxford. We do this because half of all animal experiments in Britain take place on university campuses. This is a shocking statistic, but one we believe can be changed with, pos with positive outreach to students and a clear message that we do not need to use animals at all. In fact, 90% of animal research here in Britain is simply curiosity driven. So it need not have any benefit to humans at whatsoever. Quite simply, vivisection takes place because it's a, because of an it's always been done, so let's do it again culture. It's, been, it, it's carried out because of profit and the desire to publish papers. We reach out to students mainly with our Lifeline campaign, though we also highlight the huge and increasing animal use by multi-million pound charities such as Cancer Research UK and British Heart Foundation. These charities plough literally hundreds of thousands of pounds each year into animal research at universities. And we know this because their names are on the scientific papers that our researchers look at as key funders. I honestly question, at what point does a charity not become a charity? Surely an income of £600 million a year is that point. The last published figures on animal experiments in Britain show a tiny reduction from the year before. In 2017, 3.79 million experiments were carried out, which is just a 3.7 percentage decrease from the year before. This equates to an unacceptable level of suffering taking place right now, each and every day. There is clearly a lot of work to be done. But we have found it increasingly difficult to find out exactly what is being done to animals in laboratories around the country. We have been sending freedom of information requests to almost every single university in Britain every year without fail since 2016. And we have seen a very clear pattern. We believe that universities are deliberately evading answering questions about their animal experiments using a loophole in the Freedom of Information Act 2000, which means that universities can refuse to provide even their most basic information because, they say, they plan to publish this information on a website at some point later in the year, thus effectively hindering our chance of telling the public when we need to tell them about animals and what is happening to them inside universities laboratories. Some of you might have seen our Missing campaign which we launched recently, exposing the use of rabbits in universities. We name that campaign Missing because we are literally unable to find out what animals are housed inside British universities and how many. Out of 112 universities and university colleges contacted by Animal Justice Project this year, seven universities haven't bothered answering at all. Over half of the universities contacted, which we know have animals, have refused to provide us the information we asked. And 33 universities, such as UCL, Edinburgh, King's College London, Oxford University, Manchester University, Imperial College London and Cambridge University, have flat out refused to provide answers. But these universities have something else in common. They are the largest users of animals in Britain. And so we have universities killing the most animals, choosing when they want to tell the public about it, rather than asked, rather than when asked by the very same people that are often, un, often unwittingly funding this cruel research. We find this unacceptable, and it effectively means that our hands are tied for most of the year in terms of publishing how many and what species of animals are at each 
university. So Animal Justice Project carries out its own research into what is happening to, to animals inside university labs. For example, our missing campaign highlights rabbit experiments inside universities and based on the last available figures predicts that around 26, 26 rabbits each day are used in experiments. No wonder the universities don't want us to know. Animal Justice Project, however, usually works deliberately and mainly on areas of animal research rather than by species. This means our work invariably focuses on the smallest and most forgotten animals in labs, the rodents. Last month, we exposed some of the worst experiments we've ever seen on rats and mice at Cardiff University. A university killing almost 500,000 animals a year. Researchers have been subjecting animals there to severe brain damage. Yes, yeah, shame on them. They are using animals to see the effects of party drugs, of all things. Something that we see a lot at animal at British universities. Rodents being injected with speed, MDMA, ecstasy, alcohol and nicotine. We see it all the time. The very same researchers at Cardiff that were involved in the notorious kitten experiments at the university back in 2012 are at it again, continuing their cruel and frankly bizarre experiments on mice and tree shrews, as if this makes it any better. Over the last couple of years, researchers at Cardiff have crushed countless nerves of rodents. Attached steel rods and electrodes to their skulls, glued glass windows and aluminium plates into their brains and induced crippling diseases. In one tuberculosis study, researchers induced inflammation into the brains and nervous systems of mice and watched as the animals became paralysed and died. They've injected drugs into brains and left animals for months to assess seizures. They've forced rodents to run on treadmills while their heads are restrained in devices and induced arthritis by injecting toxins into animals' joints, causing ankles and legs to swell and paws to be deformed. Rats have had cannulas implanted into their brains so that researchers could inject lethal substances. They've had drugs injected into their eyeballs, been given nasty lesions and are routinely, routinely forced to swim in water tanks. They've been drugged with liquid ecstasy and are again left to suffer as researchers look on. This is the stuff of nightmares. Yet yeah, it's going on in yet yeah, what is going on inside Cardiff University is taking place everywhere, every single day in universities across Britain. If these animals were dogs, there would be an outcry. If these animals could scream, maybe their cries would make the job of the researcher that little bit too handled to difficult too difficult. Universities will remain our focus because they are on our doorsteps. They are in our towns and ending experiments at them is achievable. We ask that you please continue your fight for animals and laboratories just as we will. They need us and only together we can end it.